Okay, 112 Kawasaki Brute Force 750. Let's walk around. gauges so we got water temperature oil pressure and a voltage the voltage gauge you connect to the outlet positive negative and you're done the oil pressure When you buy the gauges, I bought them from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. They come with instructions and uh, hardware to connect it. Like this beefy oil pressure sensor or switch, uh, which is, has a uh, two. I'm gonna put this way better. Uh, two connectors. You connect one to the uh, original uh, harness wiring for the pressure sensor and the other one just lead uh, to the gauge and also it comes with the uh, uh, those fittings and angles to just screw in and the temperature sensor port here and um, you're done uh, the te water temperature I had to buy online uh, supplies which is you cut the hose, put the splice in, and on top of it there is a temperature sensor port, which is we just screwed it in and attach some negative and positive and lead it to the, to the uh, gauge over there. And also you're done. done with that. Heated hand grips. Simtech, they work okay as a thumb heater as well. Has a couple settings and also has a output to your jacket or a heating the helmet and stuff. And also have this little temperature gauge, which is kind of handy. When we're driving in a cold, you can see what's the temperature and stuff. Hand guards. I bought them online. And also I bought these uh, mirrors. Which is I drilled the, uh, the hole right, right here, you know, through. And I tapped it with a thread tapper and just screwed it in. That's it. This is kind of handy when we're driving in a trail so you can see, you know, behind. A shot which is easy easy fix winch switch I just didn't like the way they come with those brackets so also what I did I did uh, I drilled the hole and uh, put a screw in and it kind of holds really tight it's on the bottom not on the top because when you have it on the top and driving to the trails you can you know kind of hits something you know and stuff this is much way secure oh if you're wondering what this i got bad boy ear horn also i have this uh, diff lock switch so you just press it and engage this way it's kind of okay when you have having driving in a tactical uh, terrain and stuff and you just press it down and you're disengaging. Bumper guards. 
this is a very nice one. I like it. I had to do some uh, trimming around uh, around here because I have this uh, receiver hitch, which is custom fit. I had to trim this uh, skid plate and this. And it was a challenge, but it's it's done. It fits very well. And it's very handy. You, know, like a, you can use like a tow hook, or you can have some uh, additional attachments, like I do. And it works very good. And also I have this. Um, I don't know. You can see the hook for the plow. Like loop it around and stuff. Okay, the back bumper. A lift kit, which is RD seal 2 inch lift kit. I kind of was skeptical about it, but I really like it. And uh, the, that 2 inch lift kind of helps a tiny bit when we need it the most. Kind of looks awesome too. Okay, that's a front shot for the lift kit. Kind of lowers down the top of shock mount position. Also, I have uh, this uh, aftermarket cooling fan, which is uh, bigger than original, and it's like three times cheaper. And it kind of uh, water waterproof. I bought it on Amazon. It kind of fits very nice. I just use the little brackets right here. This is a shot on the right side for the lift kit. Tires. So I got a. Uh, 14 inch ITP SS rims on a 27 inch by 11 by 14 all around. It does not rub. It used to rub a little bit when I don't had, didn't have a, a lift kit. It was rubbing, I think, that side a little bit and the same thing on the left side. Only when you turn all the way to the one side and going like down the hill or some kind of big obstacle and stuff but was like like really not big deal because they have pretty big offset i think it's like uh two or three inches out which is don't don't have to use any spacers or anything like that because those rims already have a big offset which is eliminates need for spacers kind of handles good but they have to use you know used to it because the wider tires kind of you know hits obstacles and it kind of hits in a, in a steering bar you know but once you're used to it you're okay so as you see I have just enough clearance when a full turns one way or another way And also I have a, a B, John V4, so V4 John, whatever they called, I forgot, clutch kit, just to compensate that uh, power loss in the big wheels. And it kind of works really good, especially when you're plowing, it kind of grabs and goes, does not slip the belt, like original clutching. The clearance in the back. And I had those uh, fender flares, I bought them from Canada. I don't remember what brand it is, but it just flushes in really nice. You just have to drill the holes and I just screw it. Because with the wider tires, you're getting dirt really fast with those big beefy tires.
Okay, so I got the LED lights in the bumper installed. They are really, really bright. Some back LEDs. This is just basically a trailer light kit, three quarter size. Just drill the holes and the, just wire it. And I put some uh, hot glue just to keep it in the place. It works okay. I think one is out. Impex trunk, the look trunk. It's very solid, very durable, and really nice because you can just have a backrest to rest a little bit and stuff. And if you wanna, can have a second passenger. And also, the biggest key about it, you can fit two full-size helmet in it. Oops, there you have it. And I have a double seagull from the Home Depot on the lid and on the bottom. Keeps water and dust really good. And this logo I just had laying around so I couldn't resist just to put it in. It looks really awesome and uh, I got a lot of attention because of that. Shot the front logo. got some strobe lights it's really good when you're doing plow and I do a lot of plow it's a front shot that's a back this is the switch for it Tiger tail, it's a really good thing to have. Also I have this um, receiver hitch I bought it online uh, from Reese hitches I think. I just cut the ball, I actually I had a ball, so I cut the ball and I weld it on top and I attached the bracket with the uh, U, U rings and also this bracket for the tiger tail. I just weld it. Weld it here and here. So kind of push this tiger tail all the way back. And as it doesn't even interact with the hitch, I can just remove this, put a D-ring or whatever I want to put it in here. And kind of stay solid. And also I have uh, backup lights. I just wired that to the factory harness wiring. When you put in the reverse, the lights up automatically and they are very bright ones. Okay, clutching. Like I told you, have a clutch kit. V4 John clutch kit, primary and secondary. It works very good and also I had disabled the switch. I just completely took it out because it was gave me the problems at one point. I don't remember what exactly it was, but once I did that, uh, there is never gonna be on it anyway. So, but the light comes on like a belt light every hundred, I think, like hundred hours or something, and uh, you have to reset manually, obviously. But this belt is never triggered because I check the belt once a year anyway. So I never have a problem with it. Okay, winch. I have a Super Winch 3000. This winch has been put through a lot of heavy work, like snow plow, pulling out of the mud and stuff. And I never stopped on me, never gave me any problems. I kind of cheap option, but it works very well. 
And finally, got this uh, Warren 54 inch plow. Uh, the front mount uh, bracket. The reason I did that front mount because I I like because it stays up higher than a frame and doesn't in, doesn't hit anything while driving the trails and stuff. And it's kind of easier to move, uh, like put on and take it out. And also I can put uh, snow up higher. Very happy with that. I did this custom because they don't have that. They have some kind of different, not a royal, royal but something different. I don't remember what it was a few years back. Well, anyway, this is it. This is the last video of this uh, quad because, because I have new addition to my house. And I'm selling this quad right now. So one more shot around and I'm gonna wrap up this video. Shot of the handlebars. Okay, I'm sure I missed something in this video, but I covered everything what I what I was remembering. Thanks for watching.